Welcome back. Health experts say more and more young children and adults are drinking energy drinks. But experts say these drinks can be bad for your health. News 10's Deanna Giles spoke with college students who enjoy drinking these energy drinks and a dietitian for this report. Constantly on the go, working, studying, or taking care of family. For Zakaria Brewer and Vincent Sparling, energy drinks give them a temporary fix. I like to drink them because I have two kids at home, so it's like convenient when I don't have energy. If I'm lagging a bit, it does perk me up um, for a little while. Brewer is a mom and a student at Lansing Community College. Even though she's not a fan of energy drinks, they're what keeps her going. And when it's like those heavy weekends, like I had exams, so this past weekend I probably had about like three or four. Sparling says he would sometimes have three energy drinks back to back but had to cut back because of health concerns. Sparrow Clinical Dietitian Shannon Zaporski says energy drinks can be detrimental to your health. What worries me is that supplements are not regulated by the FDA. So therefore energy drinks can portray um, misleading information or they might not accurately depict the amount of caffeine that is in the energy drink. According to the National Institute of Health, energy drinks are the second most common supplement used by young people, which means 30% of people consume them on a regular basis. It's kind of a vicious cycle. We drink an energy drink or have caffeine because we didn't sleep well, but then that energy drink or that caffeine content in it can also cause us to not sleep well or having trouble going to sleep. Instead of turning to energy drinks, it's recommended you start your day with calories, get enough sleep, and eat throughout the day. In Lansing, Deanna Giles, News 10. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, almost 12% of high schools sell energy drinks.